Good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, my name is Mohammed Batog, and I'm working with Saudi Aramco, the oil and gas company in Saudi Arabia. I'm specifically working at the Gig Plants facility as a network and control system engineer. As a network and control systems engineer in the group responsible to administer and manage all the plant control systems and uh, performance monitoring applications and advanced solutions. I'll be talking more about the gig plants in the next slide of my presentation, but before that, I'll state the objective of my presentation today to you. The objective is to share with you our success story in implementing an intelligent energy key performance indicator or KBI system that helped us a lot at the gig plants to optimize energy consumption. And this is in line with our company direction to optimize energy, to optimize energy in order to promote operational excellence. So the outline of my presentation will be as follows. I'll start first by giving you an overview of Upcake plans. I'll then state the business case that led us to the implementation of the intelligent KBI solution. After that, I'll mention some of the major factors that led, to the, led us to the success in this project. And finally, I'll conclude with the results. Upcake plans is part of Saudi Aramco, and it's the biggest oil stabilization plant in the world. We produce Arabian light, Arabian extra light, and gas condensate crude. In our daily oil stabilization uh, process, with a, with a total capacity of more than 7 million barrel per day. We also produce gas as a byproduct to our daily oil processing activities. And in order to support both the oil and gas plants, we produce our own electrical power, steam, and instrument air, and water in the utilities plants. So gig plants consist of three major portion or division, oil, gas, or NGL, and utilities. We have an average energy consumption of 30 kBTU per BOE, or barrel oil equivalent. When it comes to energy consumption, we encountered a lot of challenges at the gig plants. The first challenge is that the energy cost was high, while the Company of Saudi, while the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was in bad need to maximize the energy, uh, the utilization of energy to promote and to support the economic growth. And this challenge led us to, the, to identify the benefit of needing an, an intelligent system that can help us to optimize energy and hence optimize cost. The other challenge that we faced is that we, in the past, we were having many false alarms about, en about energy overconsumption. And these alarms were the result of the previous manual systems and procedures that we were using to identify and diagnose energy problems. These systems uh, were inaccurate. They were consuming a lot of time, money, and resources. Hence, this led us to identify the need of having an automatic root cause analysis as part of our solution to help us quickly identify the issue with any energy overconsumption. Another challenge we face is that we had a gap in knowledge between our young engineers and our expert engineers, senior engineers. The senior engineers can easily identify and diagnose energy problems, while our young engineers lack these skills. So in order to bridge this gap, we came up with the, or we identified the need of having an expert system to help our young engineers and young operators to basically empower them to um, monitor the performance of the energy and deal with energy overconsumption issues. The final challenge that we face is that we were using in the past static targets to measure our energy performance. These static targets were independent of the plant mode of operation and process scenarios, equipment availability in the plant, and hence they, they, weren't, uh, they didn't give us good representation of, about, about our energy consumption or our energy performance. So this led us to identify also the need of having dynamic targets to measure our energy performance. These dynamic targets will change based on the operating mode, process scenarios, and equipment availability. And hence, they'll give us good representation about our, about our energy, uh, energy uh, performance and energy consumption. So in order to meet all these needs, we partnership with Integration Object Company to uh, build a solution. Our solution read both the real-time data and historical data from our control systems, and then perform several functions on the data. 
it first validate the data to make sure all, of, all data received uh, accurate, is accurate. We then insert the data into an expert system to identify the different mode of operation and process scenarios corresponding to the data. We then calculate the KBI values for different energy indices. We calculate also the dynamic targets based on the process mode or mode of operation of the plant. We calculate or detect the deviation by comparing the KBI values with the dynamic targets. We then initiate the complex events in case we have any deviation to alert our users about the energy overconsumption issues. We also initiate root cause analysis automatically to identify the equipment responsible for the deviation. And we have also a workflow system with action items to assign the different action items to different users to handle and fix the uh, energy issue. In case we have more than one root cause discovered, then we use a, a one root cause analysis algorithm that will only highlight the most significant root cause that contributed to the energy overconsumption. Finally, all this data are transferred to our engineering managers, uh, supervisors, and operators in our uh, user-friendly dashboard. I'll be talking more about the dashboard in the next slides as well. So to summarize, the objective of this system, we can summarize it in four points. The first one is that we wanted to monitor the entire plant energy consumption in a single dashboard. The second objective is, to, is, is that we want to automatically uh, detect all the plant mode of operation and process uh, scenarios changes and adjust the dynamic target based on this information. The third objective is that we want to early detect any deviation by comparing our KBI value to the dynamic target and alert our users about the deviation. The final one is that we wanted to isolate the root cause behind the performance gaps through our uh, automatic root cause analysis algorithm. So the scope of, of work in this project included the development of five major KBIs, three KBIs, were developed for the oil plants, for the AXL, for the AL, AXL, and gas condensate crude, one for the NGL plants, and one for the Deba departmental energy uh, KBI. In addition to the five major KBIs, we developed, we developed also 300 sub-KBIs for different equipments we have in the plant. Uh, the system uh, consists of five complex root cause analysis models with drill down capabilities and complex event detection for each energy index we have. We have also five interactive web dashboard also for each energy index. In our system, we break down each energy index into several layers. The first layer is the production unit layer where we list all the plants or production units under the energy index. In the second layer, which is the unit layer, we break down each plant or each production unit into, into the unit it, it contains. And finally, in the third layer, equipment layer, we divide or we break down each unit into the equipment it consists of. When we do our analysis, we calculate the dynamic target and, do, and we do the modeling on all the equipments we have in the equipment layer. And then we use this information to do the analysis on the upper layers to the unit production and finally the energy index. The same concept is also used with the root cause analysis algorithm, but in the opposite direction. So when we have any deviation in the KBI, for example, in one, of the, in one of the energy index, we drill down from the energy index to the production unit, unit and finally the equipment to drill down exactly to the equipment uh, responsible for the, the deviation. So the approach in the system can be summarized in two portions. The first portion is the offline portion and the online portion. We use for both the integration objects KNIT to do the analysis. Of the, in the offline portion, we basically develop the model based on the operating mode. And the online mode, we uh, basically calculate the KBI values, targets, and uh, root causes. The offline mode starts with collecting the historical data from our control systems. We then clean the data, do more exploration on the data to uh, identify the different process scenarios and mode of operation. And finally, we develop a model for each mode of operation. In the online mode, we receive the real-time data. We calculate the KBI values. Uh, we then enter the data into our rules uh, system to identify the dynamic targets. And based on the dynamic targets, we identify if we have a deviation, we initiate complex events and root cause analysis. So the final, 
the final output of this system is KBI calculation, performance gap detection and prediction, abnormal conditions diagnosis, and operations advisory. Gentlemen, in this slide and in the, in the coming slides, I'll be sharing with you the key factors that we implemented in this project and resulted in its success. Starting with the dynamic target idea, which we embedded in our system. This dynamic target helped us a lot to uh, measure accurately our energy performance. So it provided us with reliable and accurate energy consumption figures and warnings. In our calculation of the dynamic target, uh, first of all, as I mentioned before, the dynamic target takes into account our operating conditions, valve line up, and the uh, equipment availability. And when calculating the dynamic target, we use both the historical data analysis and the online data. In the historical data analysis, and before we calculate the dynamic uh, target, we started by collecting three years of historical data from our systems. And then we entered this data into our uh, anal analytical tool. First, we clean the data to remove any bad text and uh, any questionable data. After that, we cluster the data through applying the principal component analysis, BCA algorithm. Uh, we cluster the data to specify how many mode of operation or process scenario we have. After that, we classify the, the data using our decision tree to specify which cluster belongs to which mode of operation. And finally, we develop the model for the energy KBI as a function of the input using the regression algorithm. So this is a graphical representation of what I mentioned in the previous slide. First, we do clustering for the data. So here we can see clearly that we have two clusters. And these two clusters represent two modes of operation. For example, in our stabilizers or stabilization unit, these two uh, clusters can represent the shallow stabilization and the deep stabilization mode of operation. After that, we classify the data using our decision tree. So we specify which cluster belongs to which mode of operation. And finally, we apply our model, the, the rational or linear regression model. After finishing or creating the model, we take the online data. And by using our decision table, we decide by using our decision table with the data, with the real-time data, we decide if the equipment is available, what operating mode we are in, and the process scenarios we currently have. So by deciding all of this, we decide the correct model to use in order to discover and calculate our dynamic uh, target. This is a snapshot of the turbine availability uh, decision algorithm. This is the uh, stabilizer 19 operating mode uh, decision algorithm. This is the process scenario detection for stabilizer seven. And finally, this is the uh, dynamic target calculation algorithm for the AL index, energy index. The second uh, success factor I'm going to talk about is the automated root cause analysis that we also embedded in this solution. And this helped us a lot to decrease the time, resources, and money required to, uh, to diagnose any problem with, the, with energy. Our root cause model uh, utilizes a drill down capability. So when we have any uh, deviating energy index, we drill down from that deviating energy index to the plant unit to discover the plant unit associated with this deviation. And then we drill down more to the unit uh, to find the unit responsible for deviation, and finally to the equipment. So we pinpoint exactly to the equipment responsible uh, for, the, for the energy deviation. So for example, here, in, in addition to pinpointing to the equipment, we also decide what's the reason of the deviation and the action item to be taken. For example, we have here a deviation or a problem with the reboiler equipment of the stabilizers. And we can see that we detected already the reasons for, uh, for this deviation, uh, which in this case, we have the steam temperature and the crude out temperature. The third and final uh, success factor I'm going to talk about is the uh, dashboard. Uh, the online dashboard, uh, the user-friendly dashboard that we created, and we spent a lot of time uh, developing it. This dashboard uh, gave our users online visualization for all cake plants' uh, energy performance. This is the main dashboard of the system. Uh, this dashboard contains all the information needed for our users. So the users, they don't need to dig deep to any other windows or to go to different, uh, different sites to find the information. They can find here the KBI values targets, deviation, uh, root causes uh, of the deviation, and corrective actions. 
the main portion of the, of the dashboard is the summary table, where we can see the list of indices that we are uh, measuring or monitoring, the status of each index, the value of the index, the static and dynamic targets that we are calculating in the system and comparing the KBI values against, the energy costs and energy savings. In addition to that, we also show and highlight the energy miss-saving figures in the main dashboard. And the energy miss-saving figures are, uh, are the result of the previous accumulated deviation from our KBI targets. So once we have any deviation in one of the energy index for certain amount of time, we calculate the money that we lose, we are losing because of this deviation, and then we add this amount of money to the figures in these boxes. This will give actually a feeling to our users about the importance of energy optimization, since they'll see it in dollar value now. So they'll see that they are, we are wasting money because of energy optimization issues, and will make them deal quickly and timely manner with problems. It will also help us to measure our performance in the future, so we can compare different years uh, energy miss saving together and come up with our performance uh, through years. In addition to that, users can also click in the drill down menu to go into more details regarding any energy index. And he, there they can find more information about the equations, a, a trending of the values, KBI, savings. Once you, once you click in any index, it will show all the correspondence chart for that index. Uh, trends of that uh, index, like the energy KBI value, energy cost, and saving. But also in the, the main dashboard, we can see the root cause analysis result. When we have any deviation, it will be automatically triggered. Root cause analysis will be initiated. It will show us exactly the unit, equipment responsible for deviation, and the reason for that. And then it will um, propose the corrective actions to fix uh, the deviation. And all of this appear in the main dashboard. The notification message appears in the, in the top of the menu, which gives quick access to our user to the equipment responsible for the deviation and the KBIs. Finally, we can also use the drill down menu to get more information about any energy index. For example, if we drill down here to the AL, this is the gas condensate, uh, this is the AL index, we can see more information, like we can compare the performance of the KBI in, in year 2013 and 2014 we can see the current KBI value, the energy cost, trend saving, and KBI uh, uh, values with time. Uh, we can also see the performance of the production unit under this energy uh, index. Uh, we see the plant's performance, KBI values, targets, status. Um, and we can see also that we have one of the, of the uh, plant uh, or production units plants underperforming. So we can see all the, stat the status of each, each uh, production unit uh, performance. So gentlemen, in conclusion, this intelligent energy KBI system um, is expected actually or estimated to result in cost saving for big plants in tens of millions of dollars. This will increase the visibility of the operation performance from the operator level up to the senior management level. As, as a matter of fact, now our young operators and young engineers can easily participate in our energy optimization activities because they can now easily see our energy performance in the, in the dashboard. The problem to resolution cycle time was significantly reduced because of the use of the automated root cause analysis algorithm that saved us time, money, and resources. Finally, operation knowledge was retained and shared. So with this, I'll conclude my presentation and I'll be happy to, I'm glad to answer any questions you may have during the discussion session. Uh, that's it. Thank you, gentlemen.